Welcome to Faith Case, a place where we investigate the truth. Please welcome now Detective Pastor Debbie. of the truth. So, we have been learning last week. What did we learn last week again? Oh yeah, how to share our faith. Now I hope that you guys shared your faith all about Jesus, told somebody all about Jesus this past week. Very important. Let's see what today's faith case is all about. Why isn't this open? going on today? can't believe all these obstacles in my way. What is today's faith case? Okay, let's have a look. Hmm. Looks like some kind of gold medal that you would put on, if, like a, a reward or a prize or something. Something else in here. this. Looks like a guy in a race running. Wow. So a reward or a prize and running a race. And what is this? Losses? Troubles? Pain? Hardship? What could this faith case today be all about? Oh. Running a race for a prize and all kinds of trouble. Well, we're going to have to think about this faith case today. I will be right back. Hopefully I will. So don't go away. Come back for today's faith case. So we're back with today's faith case. Hope we don't bump into anything else. Anyways, our clue today, as you saw, was a guy running a race, a prize, and a whole bunch of problems. We're going to get to that in just a second. But first, I want us to try something. Trust me, it fits in with our faith case today. I want everybody, if you're sitting down, stand up. I want to see you standing and clapping like this, just like this, okay? So can you just keep clapping, keep clapping, okay? Keep clapping. How long do you think you can keep clapping? An hour? Two hours? A whole day? How about two days? Well, you can stop clapping now if you like. You know what the record is for the longest that somebody clapped without stopping? 58 hours and nine minutes. That's over two days. Can you imagine standing there clapping for that long? Somebody did it, so it's possible. What about jumping? Hmm. Everybody, while you're standing up, let's start jumping, okay? Keep jumping, keep jumping. How long do you think you can keep jumping? Keep jumping. Now suppose you had a jump rope and you're, you're jumping the jump rope. How long do you think you can keep doing that? How many jumps do you think you could do without stopping? Well, we can stop now. How long? Well, you know what the record is? for the number of jumps that somebody did without stopping? 
221 jumps. It's making me tired just thinking about it. There's a lot of things that we do that are hard, but we have to keep doing them. Well, clapping our hands and jumping are not something that we have to do. But in our clue today for today's faith case, we saw a lot of troubles, hardships, trouble, um, different, different pain, sorrow, losses, all of those things that happen in our life. Today's faith case is about running a race, but not running a race that has to do with winning a prize necessarily or competing against somebody. Today's faith case is about running the race of life and particularly running the race of life with Jesus. We want to focus on Jesus. We want to believe and trust in him. And no matter what obstacles come, no matter what problems, no matter what happens, to keep on trusting and believing him and keep on running the race. Where does the race begin in this journey with Jesus? The starting line is our salvation. When we first come to know Jesus as our savior, our journey of faith begins and we keep on going. That word about keeping on, keeping on, in spite of issues, problems, obstacles in our way, in spite of it, that word is called endurance. Can you say that word? Endurance. We're going to endure all of these difficulties because we want to get to the finish line. And that is what a lot of people in our faith case today did. They continued to trust and believe in God no matter what problems came up. No matter what God said to do, they chose to believe God and obey him and continue on running the race of life. Fixing their eyes on Jesus or fixing their eyes on the prize, the end of the race. So we're going to talk today in our faith case about some people who went before us who were faithful and endured no matter what happened. They chose to believe God. So I have what I'm calling the Hall of Faith. And here it is, the Hall of Faith. We're going to talk about some people who endured, and their names are written in Hebrews, that's the New Testament book of Hebrews, chapter 11. Let's look at some of them. Well, here is a woman, and her name is Sarah. Where is she on the board here? Sarah. She's in the Hall of Faith, because when she was very, very old, she believed God when God said, that she was going to bear a son. She was going to have a baby when it was impossible for her to because she was too old. But she trusted and she believed in God that he was going to bring about the promise that he gave to her. And she had a son and his name was Isaac. Sarah. Sarah is in the hall of faith. Who else? Her husband, Abraham. God told Abraham to go to a place, and he didn't even know where it was. He said, I have a promise for you. You are going to be the father of many nations. And I want you to go to this place that you don't know, but I'm going to lead you. And so Abraham believed God. He trusted God, even though he was really old, older than even Sarah, his wife, that he was going to have a son. And he believed God and went to that place God told him to, leaving everything behind. 
He trusted God. Abraham has a place in the hall of faith. It wasn't easy to leave all your family and, and everybody and, and leave and go to a place you didn't know. That would be hard, wouldn't it? But Abraham believed God enough to do it. Abraham belongs in the hall of faith. Who else? Who do you think this is? This is King David. When David was a young man, teenager probably, he was the shepherd boy. And when nobody else would go against the giant Goliath, David trusted God. When all the other people who had military experience or had been in wars before and fought battles before wouldn't face this big guy called Goliath, David trusted and believed God that it could be done. And he, just a young man, decided he would do it because he knew God would bring this giant down. And he did. He also continued to trust God through his life. Even though he fell into sin, he was not just remorseful, but repentant. He wanted to turn away. He loved God so much. He trusted and continued to trust in God. God forgave him. And he rose above that. And he continued to rule over Israel as king. And the Bible says that he fulfilled his purpose for his generation. David belongs in the hall of faith. Where are you, David? There you are. All right. Who else? Who do you think this guy is? Well, he has a piece of wood here. Hmm. Well, this is Noah. Remember Noah? Noah built an ark when it wasn't even raining out. Yeah. Nobody had ever even seen rain before, but because God told Noah to build this big boat called an ark when it wasn't raining and he continued to build it year after year, it took about a hundred years for him to build that big boat. It was a huge thing, but he believed God and he continued to do what God said. He was a man of faith. So Noah belongs in the hall. Now, I know you know who this guy is. He's holding some tablets, not the kind you eat. He's holding the Ten Commandments. This is Moses. Moses believed God that even though he had a comfortable place as the adopted son of the Pharaoh in Egypt, he chose to leave that place and go with his own people, the Israelites. And he led them out of Egypt. And it wasn't easy. He kept going to the Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh kept saying, no, I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you go. But he knew that God had called him. And he believed God. And the people of Israel came out of bondage and slavery in Egypt. And he led them through the Red Sea. Moses was a man of faith. Trusting and believing in God through all sorts of difficulties. The people he led were not easy to lead. Moses is in the hall of faith. Who is this lady? You may not have heard of her. Her name is Rahab. Rahab wasn't even part of the people of God. She lived in a place called Jericho. And there were two spies from Israel that came to look over the land. They were going to go and take Jericho because God had told them to go there. And Rahab was the lady that allowed the two spies to hide in her house. And God knew that she believed in him enough to do that. And so 
her and her family were saved when Jericho fell, the city of Jericho. She belongs in the hall. And we've got one more. Who do you think this is? This is Daniel. Now Daniel's name isn't actually listed in Hebrews 11. But it mentions those who believed God when they were thrown into the lion's den. That the Lord would shut the lion's mouth. And that's what Daniel did. Daniel refused to bow down to the foreign gods. He wanted to just worship and pray to the true and living God. No matter what they said, no matter what threats they made of throwing him into the lion's den, Daniel believed and trusted God. And God did exactly that. He shut the lion's mouth. And Daniel came out without a scratch from the lion's den. He believed and trusted God. Daniel belongs in the hall. All of these men and women, and much more that are not named in Hebrews 11, are called the cloud of witnesses. In other words, they are witnesses as to what God's done, and they believed God and trusted in God. Now, did all of these people always do the right thing? Was their faith always strong? No. Did they sin and fall into sin sometimes? Yeah, a lot of them, most of them, all of them did. But they trusted God enough to continue to keep on going and believing him. And God helped them to come to the finish line, trusting and believing that God would see them through no matter what happened. They endured till the end of their life. They are people of faith. And we can continue to trust and believe God as we run this race of our life, knowing that God is going to help us no matter what challenges that we face. Right? We, me and you, can be people that find our place in the hall of faith. So what's our memory verse for today? And where? Hebrews. Got to win the prize, right? Our memory verse today is, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses, that's all these people that went before us, to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, that means things that will trip us up, like sins, temptations that we fall into, we need to throw those off, especially the sin that trips us up, and let us run with, what's the word? Endurance, the race God has set before us. Sarah had something different that she had to believe God for than, say, David did. But they ran the race of life with endurance. Let's say the scripture again. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up, and let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. That's Hebrews 12, verse 1. Hebrews 12, verse 1. So our faith fact today is, God wants me to believe him and stand strong in the race of life. Strong to the finish. Let's pray. Let's pray and ask God to help us to continue to believe him no matter what happens in our life. Continue to trust that he's going to see us through and give us what we need to avoid and not get tripped up 
and fall into those temptations and sins that life also brings our way. That we can run the race, keeping our eyes on Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you today. Uh, Lord, when we chose to follow you, we didn't say it would be easy, but you told us, Lord, to not give up, but to continue to trust you. And so today we're asking you to help us to continue to believe in you and trust in you, no matter what obstacles come our way. We love you, Lord, and we want to honor you in everything that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, don't go away. I'm going to show you sort of a trick. Kind of. I'll see you in a bit. Well, we are back. We are back. Now, we've been talking about running the race of faith. As soon as we come to know Jesus as our Savior, that's where our journey begins. And sometimes we'll run into obstacles and issues and problems, but we keep on going. We have to continue to believe and trust in God and not give up. So today I have this little sort of trick. You could try, probably try this at home. So this glass with water in it, that's going to represent our life. And there's some situations that we run into that we wonder, are we going to make it? So this is going to represent things that happen in our life. And this is our life. Ready? Do you think that I can turn this glass of water upside down without the water running out? How much faith do you have? Let's find out. why certain things happen in our life. When we believe God and trust in God, He always sees us through. But we have to have that word that we talked about earlier, endurance. Endure things that may not be pleasant and continue to run the race and believe and trust God and we'll get to the finish line like all of those who went before us that we talked about today. Now next time that we meet, we are now finished our Faith Case series. Next week, we'll have a new series of lessons. So make sure you join us. Until next time, please.